Terry Nunn from Berlin, and you are listening to Brigade Radio 1. You're listening to Brigade Radio 1. We are live at the venue. This is a special night, Berlin. Greatest acts you can see live. A barn burner, if you will. Uh, Terry, welcome to the show. How are you? <laughs> Great. Good. Yeah, sorry. Even better now. Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, we're big fans of yours. Been big fans for a long time, obviously. There's a, we, um, there was a rumor going around that you were up to be Princess Leia. Yes. You auditioned for it. And I'm sorry. It's not, not, not a rumor. You can actually see the audition on YouTube. Well, I hope we're not bringing up anything painful because I remember when we were at Feature Development at Warner Brothers, we all thought that was a great casting choice. Okay. The plans and specifications to a battle station with enough firepower to destroy an entire system. Now, our only hope in destroying it is to find its weakness. Because yeah. they'll destroy the whole system. Right. I know they'll follow and they'll bring the Death Star too. That would have been a great casting choice. Well, thank you. That would have been, like, that opens up all kinds of possibilities with that role. First of all, probably a much more edgier, tougher kind of princess. Not that Carrie yeah. Fisher wasn't all those things. So that, so you, obviously things worked out for you. It really did. Yeah. Right. I, uh, I was sad at the time, but yeah, then Berlin would not have happened. Right. This song you may have heard here before. It's called Take My Breath Away. This is my dream of my life. Yeah, so you have to kind of make that decision, being on the stage at all these fantastic venues and festivals or playing Princess Leia, and then going through that roller coaster. Yeah. You know, it's like, but you know, Christopher Walken, all those guys, Kurt Russell, they all went out for those roles too. Same movie, and they have the same sort of, you know, moment of like, ah, it would have been nice, but things would have been totally Yeah, right, exactly. So here we are, we're at the Canyon Club, right? Yeah. You know, the other side of the business, You'd obviously have to be living under a rock to not know what Berlin and you and the music means to everyone and what its contribution is to society in general. But there's another side of the business that's the political side. And you must be some kind of criminal mastermind or some sort of evil genius, not only to keep this brand band going, but to keep original members circulating. Like, how do you make that work? Like, how does that phone call go where you go from people trying on new things and going in different directions to coming back home? to the group and taking the stage with you. I know, I am as in awe of this as you are because I didn't expect it. I didn't see it coming at all that yeah. the original Berlin band would be back together. Pretty amazing. You know, I'm just kind of like taking a moment to think of like all the favorite songs from Berlin and such a like an enriched career. Like what do you pick? How do you put 12 songs? You have to do your Bonnie and Clyde, right? No more of course. Or fans will riot and you know you. I'll take my breath away sounds. Of oh, course. God. Is that going to be in Top Gun 2, do you think? Can you expect a check for that? <laughs> I mean, that's the question. You know what? I'll tell you something interesting. Martha Davis always said that she was up for doing that song. Yeah. And she told me her once. Her version is on one of her albums. Yeah. Yeah. But she always told me privately, she's like, it sounded so good with Terry. I'm actually glad I didn't do Aww. it. She, she told me that once upon a time. I got lucky because she was way bigger than me. They tried a lot of way bigger singers and at me. that time because i thought you guys we, had no, a lot we were of cred nothing. We, yeah but we had cred but we weren't you know national name at all really no we hadn't had a hit yet God, this is how maybe my world in southern california was smaller than i thought what's coming up for you next like what, you have a barrage of dates coming everyone's way or people who can't get here tonight who well this show sold out but uh, yeah. you know for people who want to for people who want to redefine what their life may be about, for people who need to step up, for people who need that Tony Robbins of music and want to see Berlin, where do they go next? When is this airing? Probably by tomorrow, depending on his magic. Well, next week we're opening for Blondie at Microsoft Theater in downtown L.A. for two shows. With our buddy Clem Burke. So the 27th and 28th. Mm. That's the next ones in L.A., <laughs> and the rest then are not here. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. I'm thrilled. I Blondie love fan? Blondie, and I'm a big Thomas Dolby fan. He's also on the show. What? Huge Thomas Dolby fan. Holy. So I am thrilled. Have you played with those acts before? Well, Thomas Dolby just did the cruise that, that we did for the second time. Thomas Dolby did this year for the first time. So I got to meet him and watch his show, and he's amazing. 
You've been very gracious with your time. Thank we can go, you. We could obviously Ethan, talk to you fun. for two hours. Thank you so but, much you know, for having me on your thank show. Thank you. We would uh, we would talk to you all night, but honestly, you have a life, and uh, <laughs> there's no reason for you, your stock to go down with uh, talking to us longer than you have to. I just have a show to do. That's I know. All. There's just a, there's just history in the making here tonight. It this has been a great conversation, Terry. Thank you. Anything you need from us, have you or your management reach out to it. We can give you all the support you need. Huge fans. Looking forward to another great show. Thank you for your time. Wow. Thank you so much for having me. You're listening to Brigade Radio 1. Brigade Radio 1.